Hey, so I'm going to review one of the quads that I bought in my haul video number two. So if you've already seen the haul video, you know that I bought this quad a few weeks ago. And I'm going to compare it to the only other quad that I own, which is this MAC quad. MAC seems to be the most popular brand on YouTube, so I figured this would be a good quad for comparison purposes. So I'm going to start out with the review of this quad first. Um, the packaging on this was awesome. Way better um, than the packaging on the MAC quad. The box, um, the gold and black box that it came in was cute. Then inside of that, this was inside a velvet pouch. And then we all love the double C logo, especially me since um, my name starts with a C. And then it has a mirror inside, which the MAC quad doesn't have a mirror. And these are the colors in the quad. And is the camera focusing? I think they're showing up pretty true to color. Um, the only thing about it right now, I don't think the, you can't see the shimmer in these colors. All four of these colors have shimmer. So if you don't like shimmer, you still may like this quad because there's not a lot of shimmer. There's like a faint, tiny amount of shimmer in each one so that once you use all the colors, you see the shimmer. But it's not like, um, if you've ever seen Urban Decay's Midnight Cowboy Rise again, to me that's that's too much glitter, too much shimmer in an eyeshadow. So um, I never use that color in my Urban Decay palette. But this just has a very small amount of shimmer, which I love that. And then this is the Mystic Eyes Quad. And I'm just doing this for anyone who didn't watch the haul video. So you haven't seen it. And the camera isn't going to focus, but trust me, it says Mystic Eyes. So anyways, um, on the back it says that you get 6.8 grams of product in here. So... Between these four shadows, you have 6.8 grams of product, which is more than you get in this quad. Um, you only get 5.6 grams of product in the matte quad. So both have four shadows, um, but you get more product in here. Let me go ahead and swatch these colors for you as well. Um, the pink color looks like this. The taupe color or taupey gray is what I'll call it looks like that the light brown color looks like that and this gorgeous crease color which is the entire reason why I chose this quad over any other quad looks like this I looked at descriptions of this color online and everybody else describes it as a brown I personally think it's a very plummy brown. I get more plum than brown out of that color. So um, maybe it's just me. But these are all four colors side by side. And hopefully that's focusing. Okay. Yeah, those are all four colors side by side. And it's not picking up shimmer in all of them. But trust me, they all have shimmer in them. I'm wearing the quad right now. So I'm going to come closer up to the camera and I'm using, I'm wearing all four colors from the quad. So hopefully you can see over the false eyelashes, but you can see like even with me not leaning towards the camera, you can see a little bit of shimmer on my eyes, but it's not a whole lot of shimmer. So you get to see the effect once you use multiple colors, but just using one color, you probably wouldn't really notice um, a whole lot of shimmer. If you look at the palette, if, I don't know if it's showing up, but yeah, you can see it. The powder that's like on the black plastic part of this, that's all around the shadows. That's the powder from um, the shadows. So when I first put my brush into this product, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to have a lot of fallout, you know, all over this spot on my face from the shadows because they seem quite powdery when you put your brush into them. But after you actually lay them on your lid, I don't experience any fallout with them. 
but I will say that I always use um, a primer or a base or a primer and a base sometimes with the shadows. I use them once without um, anything, just on a naked lid. And I had a little bit of fallout, but not a lot. But I think for the most part, most people use a primer or a base, primer and or base. And so as long as you do that, you shouldn't have any fallout. I would compare the consistency of these shadows to the regular Urban Decay shadows. So if you have any um, Urban Decay palettes, the texture of those shadows are very similar to the texture of these shadows. And um, I would compare them to a MAC eyeshadow, but I wouldn't know if they're more... They don't feel like Velux Pearl to me because these are really, really soft. That's the only way that I can describe them because the MAC shadows are very hard. But this has, these shadows in here have a much softer um, feel to them. And what I'm saying really won't make sense unless you, you know, at least go to the counter and feel them. Um, what else? Yeah, so they don't feel like Velux Pearl. They don't necessarily feel like a frost. They definitely don't feel like a matte. Um, yeah, or frost or satin. I really can't compare the texture to any of the MAC shadows. They feel different from those. Is this worth the money? Um, I still think you're mostly paying for the name and the packaging um, with the product. This Chanel quad was um, $60 and some change with tax. So these shadows are basically $15 a piece. The MAC quad... Their, um, this quad was $36, so you're paying $9 a piece for each one of these shadows. Um, I'm not sure how much a single Chanel shadow is, um, but you're saving with the MAC quad on the shadows because um, a shadow of this size, each one of these would be like $11 if you just got them in paying form. So you save $2 per shadow by getting a MAC quad over getting just individual shadows in the pan. Um, however, I'm sure that a Chanel eyeshadow is probably more than $15. I don't know. I've never even priced a single Chanel shadow. Um, but it's probably cheaper to get these in the quad as well as opposed to the pan. And what else can I say about these? Oh yeah, you get, um, 6.8 grams in this quad and 5.6 grams in this, which I think I said earlier in the video. But I'm not going to edit it, even if that part was repetition. But what I wanted to point out is that if you look at these, the MAC shadows, are they look a lot bigger than the Chanel shadows. Because when I first opened the Chanel quad, I was like, geez, they're really cheating me on product because the shadows look so small in the Chanel quad. But then when I looked at the actual product amount, these look bigger, but you get more shadow in this one. So, um... I thought that was cool. I felt good about that, especially since I spent, you know, a lot more money on this one. But since I haven't hit pan on these, I don't know how deep these are. Because if you look at the side of this, um, I don't know if the if the pan for the shadow goes all the way down here or if it stops like up here. But we all know that the MAC pans are fairly shallow. It doesn't take a whole lot of digging to hit pan on these. So I don't know how deep the pans are on the Chanel shadows. Um, but I do think it's cool that you get more products in here. Um, the size is about the same. I think these are good for travel just because they have the mirror in them. And I have been wearing this quad almost every day since I bought it. Um, one of the reasons I got it was because I thought it was the most neutral of all the Chanel quads at the counter. And I would repurchase this particular quad again just because I love that really dark crease color that I keep mentioning because I can't think of um or I don't know of a dupe for this color the other colors aren't as unique in my opinion but um I just love this color so much and I think that is all I can say as far as review and comparison so I personally wouldn't buy a Chanel shadow just to say, oh, I bought a Chanel shadow. If you really find a color that you like and that you think is unique, then spend the extra money on the Chanel shadow. But if, you know, you just want 
a taupe, you can just get a taupe from MAC that's cheaper. Or like this pink, um, the pink, um, shadow in the Urban Decay Book of Shadows Volume 2 is very similar to this pink in this quad. So don't buy Chanel shadows just to say you're buying a Chanel shadow. Buy it because the color is unique. Um, because I think the, yes, these are great shadows. I love them. But other companies make good shadows too. So that's my review and comparison and thanks for watching.